Hi, I'm Monica, and today I'm going to teach you a few tricks that are going to change the way you Monday. Let's dive in. Did you know you can build reminder automations directly from the settings of a date or timeline column? You're going to select the three dots that appear when you hover over the date or timeline column name. From there, a dropdown will appear where you'll select settings and then add or edit a date reminder. After selecting this option, a window will appear where you're going to build out the remainder of the automation. You can specify when you would like to be notified as well as who receives that notification. After finalizing the automation, you can view and manage it from directly in the Automation Center. Let's dive into tip two, export your board view to a PDF. When you hover over the board view's name, you should see three separate options for exporting your board view. The first will export the board view to a PDF straight away. The second option is to schedule an automated export of the board view. This will ensure that you're always exporting the most updated version of your board view without needing to manually export it every time changes are made. You'll also see the option to generate an AI report of your board view. This is a great tool for teams who frequently create reports. It makes it easy to just see a quick summary of all of the data that appears in the board view. And finally, tip three, how to set up a dynamic people filter on your board view. Select the board filter option that appears at the top of your board. The first value that appears in the person column should be listed as me in parentheses dynamic. It is important to note that this filter is specific to the board view, so users will still be able to see others assigned items in the other board views, specifically the main table tab. Don't forget to save this filter to a new view to save your changes.